To begin this section on cosmic strings I want to read from this article I found on space.com, called North Star's Unseen Companion Photographed. It reads, Light from the North Star, Polaris, has helped humans find their way for thousands of years. Yet its gravity has guided the movements of two lesser-known companion stars for much longer. One of its stellar companions is clearly visible with a telescope, but the other hugs Polaris so tightly that it has never been directly observed until now. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers have photographed this close neighbor for the first time, recording its ultraviolet light. The star we observed is so close to Polaris that we needed every available bit of Hubble's resolution to see it, said Nancy Evans, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics who participated in the research. What you're looking at are three star systems aligned in an electrical series to a cosmic string. Cosmic strings are often studied with a zero width and that's the way my model continues to see them. Looking at this image of the companion stars, we are looking at the south magnetic surface of those planets. While the world we live on reside on the north magnetic surface of our star system's planet. If we include our planet's star system to the companion stars, then that means there are at least four star systems connected to our cosmic string in series. How many star systems are connected to our cosmic string below our system in the underverse? The length of a cosmic string is based on the number of star systems connected to the string. The length of the cosmic string represents time to all systems connected. In terms of light years, the North Star is roughly 423 light years ahead of our system. For this model, cosmic strings also have an electrical loop cycle. The string's electrical cycle passes through every system connected south to north. The star system's positive entanglement cycle which is fed by the planet's magnetic field cycle matches its cycle flow to that of the cosmic string cycle, south to north. When the cosmic string's electrical cycle reaches the top of the string, the string's condensed zero-width electrical charge expands into a domain wall in order to generate a two-dimensional singularity that can encase the entire length of time like an electrical conduit. The locations along the cosmic string where a system is not present, the domain wall shrinks around the cosmic string to reduce surface tension. Both string and domain wall are positive charged as they cycle in different directions as part of the same system. If the cosmic string system were to be considered a cosmological superconducting organism, then it would share similar characteristics with that of a snake. The magnetic torque that's applied to a star system by its spindle vortex supplies the force needed to rotate the planet around the cosmic string's spin axis. The planetary spin rotates with angular momentum, which tilts the flat planetary surface. Planetary tilt is the only force that can alter the linear trajectory of a cosmic string, allowing the entire string to zigzag from bottom to top before transforming into the domain wall section of the cosmic string's loop cycle. The inclusion of cosmic strings into my model pushed the functionality of star system to match the characteristics of a gyroscope. With the cosmic string providing the spin axis, means the spindle vortex becomes a rotor, the planet becomes a gimbal, and the magnetosphere becomes a frame that encapsulates the system and feeds the spindle vortex. My cosmological egg can be broken down into three major sections which include, a cosmic string, a star system, and a heliosphere. Each of the three major sections of my cosmological egg have ancient roots. A cosmic string can be called, Axis Mundi. Here is a copy of Wikipedia's page covering Axis Mundi. It reads, The Axis Mundi, also called Cosmic Axis, World Axis, World Pillar, center of the world, world tree, in certain beliefs and philosophies, is the world center, or the connection between heaven and earth. As the celestial pole and geographic pole, it expresses a point of connection between sky and earth where the four compass directions meet. At this point travel and correspondence is made between higher and lower realms. Communication from lower realms may ascend to higher ones and blessings from higher realms may descend to lower ones and be disseminated to all. The spot functions as the navel, the world's point of beginning. Synonyms for the word, disseminated, 
include dispersed, spread, distributed, circulated, scattered. The point where communication and blessings meet can be called a world egg or the heliosphere in this model. It's the heliosphere's deflection stream that disseminates blessings to all, creating sunlight. 